Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of limits and continuity. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that g of x is a linear function and f of x is equal to g of x for the values of x less than 0 and for the values of x equal to 0 also it is g of x and for the values of x greater than 0 it's defined as a function which is 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x raised to 1 over x and the question tells us that this function f of x it is continuous at x equals to 0. So we have to find this and the question further tells us f dash of 1 is equals to f of minus 1. Then the question is asking us to figure out the value of g of 3. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are log of 4 over 9 to the base e minus 1. The second answer choice we have is 1 over 3 log of 4 over 9 e raised to 1 over 3 to the base e. Third, we have log of 4 over 9 e raised to 1 over 3 to the base e. And the fourth answer choice we have is 1 over 3 log of 4 over 9 to the base e plus 1. So we have to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is asked to us here. Let's try to figure out the correct answer choice for the question. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make these solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better way. Let's see how to solve this question further. So if I see here, it's given to me that g of x is a linear function and being a linear function, I can write this as let g of x is equal to ax plus b. So the highest power of x I'm taking here is 1. So you have this linear function. Now further, if I try to solve this question, Function f of x is equal to g of x at x values greater than, less than or equal to 0. That is given to us. And the question also tells us that f of x is continuous at x equals to 0. So when it is continuous at x equals to 0, I understand limit extends to greater values of x than 0. f of x would be equal to f of x at x equals to 0, which is also equal to limit of extends to the values of x less than 0, f of x. So for this, I know x tends to less than 0 and x equals to 0 has the same function. So we are not using this idea, we will use this too. So f of 0, if I want to figure out, we know that for x equals to 0, f of x is equals to g of x. So if I want to find out, f of 0, I will write x as 0. And we already know g of x is a linear function given by ax plus b. So g of 0 in this case becomes a into 0 plus b. So you get this is 0 plus b which is b. So we get g of 0 which is b. So f of 0 in this case we know it is basically b. Now if I figure out this also, let's do that. Limit extends to 0 plus f of x means for the values of x greater than 0, whatever is the function f of x, we have to take the limit of that. So that gives me limit extends to 0 plus f of x for the values of x greater than 0. We know it is given by this. So if I take the limit of this function, I get 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x raised to 1 over x. So in this case, if I put it's just greater than 0, 
so it's just equivalent to zero. So if I substitute the values of x as equal to zero here, putting the limit, I get one plus zero, two plus zero, one over zero. That if I solve further, I get half raised to infinity. That gives me one raised to infinity divided by two raised to infinity. So that gives me further one raised to anything. We know it's one. Two raised to infinity is a very high value. So one which is divided by a very high value would turn this answer to become equal to zero. So we get that the limit for the value of x greater than zero with this expression is equal to zero. So if I equate that because we have been given that the function is continuous at x equals to zero, I get this is zero. I get this is b. So b and zero if I equate it, I get from here b is equal to zero. So I get from this b is equals to zero. Once I get this b is equals to zero, I understand g of x, which was a linear function defined by us, can be written as a x plus zero. That gives me g of x as a x. Now, once I have this with me, let's figure out the other item. So I want to also find this value of a because I know already now that b is zero. Now let's use the second condition that's given to us that says if dash of one is equal to f of minus one. So if I figure out first f of minus one, I know this is having a value of x less than zero. So for x less than zero, f of x is g of x. So f of minus one becomes equal to g of minus one. So if I figure out that from the g of x which we have, I can write this is g of minus one. So x instead of x, I'm putting minus one. So that is a into minus one, which is minus. A. So you already got f of minus one as minus a. Now let's figure out the other idea, which is asking us to figure out f dash of one. So f dash of one, we have to figure out. For that, I will first need f dash of x, and then I will put x as equal to one. So for that, if I see at x equals to one, we have to figure out means I can use the idea where x is greater than zero. So when x is greater than zero, this is our function. So if I use that, let's see how to solve this question. So I know f of x for x greater than zero is given by one plus x divided by two plus x raised to one over x. So here, if I take the derivative of this, if dash of x. So first, what I'm doing here is I am treating this as a constant and this as a variable. So whenever we have a raised to x, what we get is so a raised to x as it is into natural log of a, which in this case is one plus x divided by two plus x into this. I am assuming it as x. So I'll take the derivative of that, which is minus one over x. Plus opposite, I'm now treating this as a constant, so it becomes x raised to a. So x raised to a, when I have, I can write this as a raised to sorry a into x raised to a minus one. So a, so basically x raised to n, that is n x raised to n minus one, that is one over x minus one into derivative of one over plus x divided by two plus x. So if I do that, u over v rule, so v derivative of u, which is one minus u derivative of v, which is also one divided by v square. So two plus x, the whole square. So from here, I get this as one plus x divided by two plus x raised to one over x natural log of one plus x divided by two plus x into minus one over x squared plus this becomes one over x one plus x divided by two plus x raised to one over x minus one and this if i solve i get two plus x minus one plus x so x and x gets cancelled we are just left with one over two plus x squared now, once I have this with me, I can just find f dash of one. So f dash of one means I'm just putting instead of x one everywhere. So if I put x everywhere instead of one here, let's see what I get. 
So I get 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 1, which is 3. So this becomes 2 over 3 divided, raised to 1 over 1. So 2 over 3 raised to 1. Next, I have natural log of 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x, which is again 2 over 3 into minus 1 over x square, so 1 square. So that is minus 1 plus. Next, you have 1 over x, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. 1 plus x divided by 2 plus x, which is 2 over 3. 1 over 1 minus 1, so that gives you 2 over 3 raised to 0, which is again 1. So this is 1, this is 1. This becomes 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. So you just have from the next term, just 1 over 9. So f dash of 1 becomes 1 over 9 minus 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3. Because this minus sign comes out, so I'm putting minus sign. So you get f dash of 1. Now just use the idea. I have been told f dash of 1 is equal to f of minus 1. So I get from here 1 over 9 minus 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3 is equal to f of minus 1. f of minus 1 we figured out in the third page. So f of minus 1 turned out to become minus. So I got this as minus. So if I solve for this, multiplying throughout by minus 1, I get a is equal to 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9. So you get this value of a. Once I got this value of A here, I got A, I got B. Now with that A and B which I have gotten here, I can just find G of X. So G of X is 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9 into X plus B which is 0 in this case. So 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9 into x. That's your value of g of x. And the question is further asking me to figure out value of g of 3. So that gives you 2 over 3 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9 into 3. So 2 over 3 into 3 which is 2 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 9 into 3, which is 1 over 3. So you get this. So from here, I got the value of g of 3, and that turns out to become 2 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3. Now, if I want to further try to solve this idea, I know from the answer choices that they have converted the entire solution. If I check the answer choices, they have converted the entire solution in terms of logarithm of e, logarithm to the base e. So let's try to convert that as well. So if I do that here, so I know g of 3 is 2 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3. So g of 3 is 2 natural log of 2 over 3 minus 1. Now if I want to write it in also the base of e everywhere, I can write this as natural log of 2 over 3 squared. I'm just using the idea that a log b, I can write that as log b raised to a minus, this is 1 over 3 only, so I can write it's multiplied with 1, so natural log of e, because it is to the base e, so natural log of e to the base e would give you 1. So you get your natural log of 2 over 3 square minus natural log of e raised to 1 over 3. So this is log a minus log b, which becomes log of a over b. So 2 over 3 square, which is 4 over 9 to the base e raised to 1 over 3 to the base e. Because I'm writing natural log, it already represents it's to the base e. So if I want to write in terms of log to the base e, I can write this as 4 over 9 e raised to 1 over 3. So we get this. And if I see the answer choice now that matches here with the question, let's see. So we got log of to the base e so first of all 1 over 3 is not present for sure so these two answer choices are already gone and we have log of e 4 over 9 e raised to 1 over 3 here e is not present in the bracket so this is also gone so c is the correct answer choice which we have as the answer for the question that is asked to us i hope you have understood 
how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of limits i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis thank you